Hi everyone, this is Toxinos Philippines teaching you how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently. This is our market wrap up report for October 24, 2017. The market actually dropped again further today. We actually went below the A3 level to close at our lows of A279.92 down 68.40% or 0.82%. The broader all share index is down by 0.62%. <clears throat> Some indices are mixed financial holdings and properties are down while industrial, mining and oil and service is up for the day. Best performing sub-indices is the mining and oil. So let's check. Mark is up by 5.95%, decent volume at 3.3 million, value rather. Semerara is up 4.65%, despite the net foreign selling of 44.9 million. Nickel is up 1.50%. Felix is down 4.89%, net foreign selling of 5.8 million. PXP down 4.62%, LCB 1.03% down, and LC 0.55% lower. Worst performing sub this is the financials. RCBC and AUB are the sole gainers. Losers, we have Security Bank down 4.23%, followed by BDO 3.48% down, huge net foreign selling at 388 million. Med is down by 1.54%, East West 1.11% down, PNB 0.69% down, and Metro Bank. 0.22% down. Most active stock for the day is wait, Ayala Corp with 782 million, followed by BDO with 645 million, and SM with 567 million. This is just actually. 1 peso short of 1,000 Ayala Corp. For our gainers and losers, JOH is our top gainer but it does not have volume. FJPB as well. PAX is up 11.23%. STR no volume. CPM 6.33% up. Mark 5.95% up. Golden Haven 5.77% up. But there's no volume. The SEC AR and CIP. Losers have MRP down big time 6.86% followed by LPZ 5.31% down. Prim 5.29% down. DFN no volume. MJC no volume. PX 4.89% lower. PXP 4.62% lower. Security Bank 4.23% lower. FPI no volume. UPM no volume. Value turnover for the day totaled 7.89 billion. There were 80 advancers versus 113 decliners, while 50 names remain unchanged. Foreign transactions resulted to a net foreign selling of 1.17 billion. Exchange rate is at 51.488 pesos is to one dollar. Foreign market update: mixed. Hang Seng Singapore is down. Nikkei, Taiwan, and Korea is up. Shanghai and India is up as well. So that was your market wrap up report for October 24, 2017. This is Talk Signals Philippines teaching you how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently.